Hello guys, uh, today we're going to do a UDK tutorial on adding sound into your UDK level. Uh, this is just a map that I've pre-created to do it on. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing you're going to want is uh, something to activate your sound or if you're not using an ambient sound you're going to want something to activate your sound. So you're going to want to right click and add in a trigger. Come down to add actor and add trigger. Just press F4 into the properties, uh, click on the drop downs until you get into the component and just make it slightly bigger. That should be good enough. Just going to drag it into location here. <coughs> There, that's good. Okay, so with the trigger selected, go into Kismet and just right click and add a new event using Trigger Touched. There we are. Then you're going to want to go into your content browser and find a sound that you want. Uh, you can limit the search to sound cues here, and I just have door typed in up here. Uh, you can really search anything and find sounds for it, but I'm just going to pick one of these. Uh, I'll pick this one. Yep, that sounds okay. We'll go with that one. So just with it selected in the content browser, you can now just minimize the content browser. Come back into Kismet. And in Kismet, just right click, go to New Action, come down to Sound, and go to Play Sound. Then you're going to want to connect the trigger touched up to the play of the sound. Select the play sound block and come down into the properties. Click on the drop down and see, see here it says play sound. There's no sound. With the sound you want selected in the content browser, click on this little green arrow and it adds it in. Okay, so let's just quickly try that. And there we go. We got our sound playing. That's how you get uh, sound to activate at a trigger. Now if you want an ambient sound to play from the very beginning of the level from till the very end of the level, what you have to do is to go again into the content browser. I have it already open here. And we're going to search for something like a waterfall like I've set up across the way. Waterfall. So we're just going to load that in fully. Um, there is sometimes a little bit of a glitch if you click on them to play them. They, and if it's an ambient sound it will continue to play even after you close the content browser. So I'm just going to drag it into the level first. I think it dragged in. There it is. Okay, so we no longer need the we no longer need the content browser open. Close that. And just go over here. You can see it has this circle around this uh, sphere around it. Uh, the sphere represents uh, the volume fall off. Uh, it doesn't fall off within this, and then once you're outside of the sphere, it begins to fall off out until it gets to the outer sphere. It's very difficult to actually see this here, even for me. Uh, the outer sphere is marked here and uh, out here. It's very difficult against the white backdrop. Anyway, uh, with that added in, I'm just going to go into the properties. With it selected, press F4 into the properties. Come down to the audio, audio component. And you can see here that the, vo that the volume multiplier and pitch multiplier are 1. Now, I know from listening to it before that it's very loud, so I'm just going to change that to 0.5 and 0.4. You can mess around with these values depending on where you're placing it and <coughs> to make it sound however you like. And you can see we're already getting quite a loud sound coming from the waterfall. Now, of course, you can mess around with those uh, values as much as you like. Now, as with lighting, sound will spread without through the throughout the entire level. We can limit where the sound actually uh, goes to with a reverb volume, similar to a light mass importance volume. Um, to add one of those, you need uh, to click on here and select it, but before you do that you need to make your red builder brush the proper size. Uh, so we're just going to do that now. Just going to zoom out slightly and zoom up. I'm going to go into our four views here. going to first go into the top down view and zoom out slightly. And with the red builder brush selected we're going to go into the into geometry mode. And make sure you're in world if you're doing this otherwise it can get very glitchy. You want to select a side and just drag it out. We're going to make it slightly bigger than the actual map so that the sound goes outside the map as well. So you don't have to, you can make it exactly on top of a light mass importance volume already pre existing, but just for the purpose of the tutorial to keep it quick, I'm just going to do this very, very quickly. Just drag it out over the map, drag this down, 
something like this and just make sure obviously that uh, it's higher than your level and lower than where you want the sound to go there we go so now just click on add a volume just come down through them and you can see here reverb sound just click on that and if we just drag our red builder brush to the side so you can actually see I'm just going to select red builder brush with this drag it over you can see that another volume has been created outside the light mass importance volume this one here if I press F4 you can see that it's a reverb volume properties and if there's no real difference from where I was but it <coughs> it can really make a difference when you're building quite a big level and y the sounding the sound doesn't have to be built the entire way across. Anyway guys, thank you for checking out this video and please check out more videos on the online design teacher YouTube channel.